YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. I normally don't do tractors, um, but I kind of ran across this one, and I figured, why not? Let's let's do a make a tractor run video. Anyway, this is an eighty-dollar wonder. It came from a friend of mine uh, down south a little ways. He picked it up. I think he does clean outs and that's that's where it probably came from. Somebody said, get it out of here. He told me they put a fresh carburetor on it. And he says it runs, but not well. Um, if you give the gas a sniff, right, it actually smells pretty good. It smells pretty reasonable. All the tires seem to hold there. They are not cracked. So that's steps in the right direction. It did come with a battery. This is a 2005 diehard battery. I put a charge on it and if I test it, it's coming up at about 125 cold cranking amps. It should be about 350 cold cranking amps. So it's, uh, it's kind of dead. I brought out the jump pack and a few tools to kind of um, get things straightened around. You can see I put new terminals on the battery already. Um, this thing is quite well worn, a bit bent. You know, it's, it's a junker lawnmower. What I want to do is I want to get it running and then from there you make a decision. Am I going to pull the deck off and just use it as a you know, yard cart type thing, or is it complete and total junk? And for $80, I got a few tires and $40 worth of scrap. I mean, I'm not sure what this thing is, and until we spin it around a few times and figure it out, we will not know. I'm told, once again, that it starts, and it, there's some, yeah, there's not a lot of compression there. Um, it's quite a bit of grass in here before I actually use it use it I won't, might want to make sure the mice haven't nested up uh, it'd be good if somebody put some oil in it that might help the compression so I'm going to throw some oil in there slowly to make sure it's not just running out on the driveway and uh, we'll start going forward we'll put the jump pack on it and see if it'll turn over so I topped up the oil, I got the jump pack on it. We're about to turn it around. It appears as if you step down on the clutch and lock it, that you can engage the starter. All good things, right? I specifically mentioned the oil a few times because don't do something silly like start it without checking the oil and then you gun it a couple of times and you say, oh, could I get a ride out of it? And next thing you know, you've damaged the motor because you didn't check the oil. Please do check the oil. I made that mistake only once, and it's one that you guys don't have to repeat for me. So this has 18 horsepower. I don't know if I specifically mentioned it. I believe it was built somewhere around 2000. It says 728 um, 01. So the uh, sticker on the back says 98 for the lawn cutting, you know, safety requirements. So call it somewhere around a 2000, 2001. So it's 20, 25 years old. Anyway, let me get the tripod set up. We'll see if we can't start this thing under its own power, um, i.e. no starting fluid, and then we'll move up to the starting fluid, depending on if it fires up or not. All right, let's see what it wants to do. It sounds like a, uh, a blown head gasket. What do you guys think? Hang on. We'll give it a little 
scoop starting fluid. We'll see what she'll do. But to me, it don't sound so good. Take a quick look at that muffler. So I do, I do have an intact exhaust system. That, that not wanting to keep running the low compression. I gotta, I gotta go with. I got a blown head gasket. Now, oh, it is this thing to work on? It doesn't look too horrible looks like cover 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 take the head off hopefully nothing breaks pop a new head gasket in there and put it all back together again so <laughs> is this puppy worth the effort that's the next question up um, real common people will get these things get these machines take these machines out of their sheds basically and go to use them for the season and you know get cut in the grass and then starts making bad sounds like this and all and uh, you realize when you take it apart to fix it that the mice made a mess out of it I kind of took a chance on this thing for the 80 bucks um, it's kind of, it's kind of hoping it, uh, it didn't require so, so much work, but if you were boning it out, you got a starter, you got a set of front tires, you had a decent hood and you got some scrap metal, uh, <laughs> unless, well, and I guess you got the electric clutch, right? Let's see here if it engages. Yeah, normally you would hear a click from it, and I do not. So that's, maybe it requires me to sit down on the seat to get that click, but there's a good possibility the electric clutch is no good. So uh, for 80 bucks, this was not a steal of a deal. Just wrapping up. If you need a riding lawnmower, just a beater to cut the grass, uh, running and cutting and everything else, this is a $150 to a $250 mower. For $80 plus the parts to put into it and all that, unless your labor is completely free, um, there's, I mean, no real value here. I mean, the deck, the deck is pretty pounded. Right, you could pull that back into shape and, you know, kind of rebuild the band that goes around the outside. I mean, you can make it cut grass again. And if you're in need of a, a mower and you don't mind working on them, it might be worth the 80 bucks to buy this, fix it, and sell it. I don't think you're going to get rich, right? You'll end up making your $10 an hour maybe. But that's about it. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.